Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly tech update, the show that explores the newest, coolest, and sometimes crazy side of tech available on the interwebs. I am your tech leader, Ray McNeil. Coming up on the program today, Escape Simulator is getting an official Portal DLC. Check out the lyric video for Status Report. It's the first song from the new musical episode of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Happening in this week's What the? Hamilton Simulator is a Roblox game. It's officially licensed from the hit musical, and it sees you collecting the founding fathers in order to have them sing at Redcoats until they explode into coins. Your guess is as good as mine. And of course, we'll wrap up the program with this week's Moment of Joy. All that and a whole lot more coming up on today's edition of your weekly tech update next. Pine Studios Escape Simulator is a puzzle game based around escape rooms, and they're getting a free and Valve-approved Portal DLC. Portal Escape Chamber arrives on September 7th and is based in the Aperture Science Enrichment Center from the games. We are, of course, incredibly thankful to the entire team at Valve for letting us create this new free DLC, says the announcement, which is truly a wish come true for all of us at Pine Studio. The DLC is set following a minor workplace incident, which has put the facility on lockdown, trapping you in up to nine other players inside. There are puzzles to solve, it's got companion cubes to play with, and your escape ultimately depends appropriately enough on breaking the Aperture Laboratory protocols. You'll also get a sweet Aperture Lab coat, and there are other character skins to pick up too. The room should take players anywhere from half an hour to an hour to complete, and because it's so big relative to other escape simulator rooms, rooms, the DLC will come with a checkpoint system. And yes, Pine Studio went there to make your escape a little bit sweeter. We promise that there will be cake. No lie. The DLC will have to do while we wait for the never-going-to-happen Portal 3. The one shining light on the horizon, indeed, the hero we need, is Eric Wolpaw, the former Valve developer and writer who co-wrote the first two games. Wolpaw's been on a one-man mission to drum up intrigue about a third entry, saying Valve has a starting point that we like a ton, and generally agitating from outside Valve valve for Portal 3 to get made. Perhaps all along the cake was a metaphor for Valve's inability to do trilogies. We all want it. We must have it. But the three is a lie. The Revolution Instaglow R270 is one of the most premium toasters in its category. What makes it unique is its supersonic toasting speed and touchscreen that's just larger than an iPhone 13. The touchscreen helps you get the exact toast level by allowing you to choose from a variety of bread options and toast settings. Revolution Cooking says its toaster is the biggest advancement in heating technology in over a hundred years. The toaster's diamond-shaped heating elements designed by Revolution use less energy and heat up faster than traditional coils. The R270 is pre-programmed to toast over 34 varieties of breads and includes a tailored gluten-free setting. You can personalize the order of breads and choose between an analog or digital clock face for its home screen, but that's about it. The toaster is not Wi-Fi enabled, so you won't get mobile updates or be able to control it remotely, which you probably should for the price. This elevated toaster doesn't come cheap either. The R270 is going for $399. Revolution sells two less expensive models, the R180 and the R180B, both of which are priced at about $329. These models support only five bread types, however, have no gluten-free option, 
and they lack the dedicated scenes for accessories. What would make any premium toaster even more premium? Accessories. There are two optional accessories sold by Revolution. First is the heating tray for 30 bucks. It's placed right on top of the toaster. It can be used to heat up leftover pizza, pastries, baked goods, and more. Even after two runs, the baked goods weren't exactly warm inside, so uh, it might need some fine tuning, but it is a pretty good idea. Next, there's the Panini Press for 80 bucks. You fill the contraption up with bread, cheese, and meats, close it, and place it in the toaster. Revolution claims that this is a smart toaster, but I don't think it goes far enough to be called smart in the traditional sense. The toaster's lack of Wi-Fi means that there will be no updated home screen options and no connectivity to smart home assistance. Mm, not sure why they're calling this a smart toaster. Maybe if they had integrated it with Google Home or Alexa so that you can send commands to start the toaster right before you wake up or right before you get home for some reason, uh, well, it may warrant the higher price tag. Personally, though... I think a regular toaster is probably just fine. Ultimately, this is a super premium toaster at a super premium price and is probably best suited for someone who loves flashy kitchen tech and perhaps wants to impress their friends. Lots of you played with Bionicles when you were a kid, and I'm sure you're going to be super excited to hear of a fan-made game that looks to be of AAA quality. It's called Bionicle Masks of Power. Due to the LEGO Group's fan content policies, well, they plan to release this game for free. Starts dying down. Is it true that there's a place for you when the sun burns out? Don't you fear that it's too late to turn the tide? 